Hello students, welcome to the course Digital Electronics and Computer Organization presented by Department of Information Technology, Sanjeevani College of Engineering, Kopparga. In this topic 2.4, you will learn design of counters, that is asynchronous counter from unit 2 sequential logic circuit. In the beginning, we shall see a ripple counter, then we shall come to the BCD counter and uh, at the end, we shall see the construction of a three decade BCD counter. This is the diagram for the ripple counter, particularly the 4-bit ripple counter. This particular ripple counter uses 4T flip-flop, that is 4 toggle flip-flops. The first flip-flop is given the clock pulse or the uh, pulses to be counted are given as the clock input to the first flip-flop. The output of the first flip-flop is connected as the clock input to the second flip-flop. Then Output of the second flip-flop is connected in turn as the clock input to the third flip-flop and like that the output of the third flip-flop is connected as the clock input to the fourth flip-flop. So like this, in the ripple counter, output of the previous flip-flop is used as the clock input to the next flip-flop. The another important connection in this ripple counter is the T input of all the T flip-flops it is connected to logic 1. Instead of using T flip-flop if we are using JK flip-flop in that case, both J and K inputs should be connected to logic 1. They are always connected to logic 1. Uh, <coughs> as in the normal case, the preset and clear inputs, uh, here the reset input uh, is uh, shown here, which is also referred as a clear input. Uh, whereas the preset input is not shown for this particular flip-flop, but uh, uh, when if it is required to show the connections of preset and clear inputs which are active low, so these preset and clear inputs are also connected to the common preset and common uh, clear and normally they are connected to logic 1. Whenever all the flip-flops are required to be presetted, that is, they are to be taken to state 1, then the preset input is momentarily connected to 1. Uh, sorry, uh, the preset inputs are momentarily connected to 0, so all the flip-flops will be set, and then again, they are back connected to high. In the similar fashion, to clear the flip-flops, 
the reset input or clear input it is momentarily connected to uh, ground or low and uh, again it is connected to logic 1 so the normal state of the preset and clear input is logic 1 we can see the output of this particular counter uh, as the outputs of the flip flops which can be leveled as a0 a1 a2 a3 uh, a0 being the lsb and a3 being the msb uh, when we go for the output of this particular flip flop uh, so it is it is shown in this particular manner uh, the diagram is shown horizontally uh, a0 being the uh, lower significant bit whereas a3 being the highest significant uh, bit so uh, if we plot the diagrams how we we'll, we shall get the output the a0 a1 a2 a3 uh, with respect to the clock input that is given uh, we can uh, see that particular output in this particular timing diagram okay so uh, this is the clock the first waveform shows the clock that is given to the input clock input of the first flip flop okay so here that particular clock is given and how will be the output at a0 how will be the output at a1 how will be the output at a2 and how will be the output at a3 uh, with time is shown in this particular diagram which is uh, called the timing diagram for the ripple counter or asynchronous counter so x axis is the time axis so as time uh, is going to elapse the clock is going to change that is for some time the clock is low for some time it is high again it is going low again it is going high so like that the clock continuously changes from high to low and low to high with certain frequency that particular certain that frequency depends on how much uh, is the clock uh, period or the clock frequency of that particular signal okay so as the clock input changes how output a0 a1 a2 and a3 changes so that has been uh, shown with this particular flip-flop as we know the characteristics or the truth table you can say of the flip-flop or the function uh, table of the flip-flop t flip-flop the toggle flip-flop changes its output uh, when t is 1 so t is already 1 here and at every negative age of the clock okay so this is uh, uh, age triggered and that too negative age triggered so at every negative age the flip-flop toggles flip-flop toggles means if it is zero if its current state is zero then its next state will be one if its, its current state is one then its next state will be zero so in the beginning the assumption is that all the flip-flops are reset a zero output which is output of the first flip-flop is 0 a1 which is the output of the second flip-flop is also 0 a2 the output of the third flip-flop is 0 as well as the output of the uh, fourth flip-flop a3 is also 0 so all the flip-flops in the beginning are reset then after some time what happens the clock becomes 1 so this is the positive age of the clock because the t flip flops they are uh, negative age triggered so positive age will not change the state of the flip flop but after some time what happens this particular clock goes low from high state okay 
so this is the negative h the clock falling from 1 to 0 is the negative h so as this particular clock input is given to the first flip-flop so first flip-flop toggles that is first flip-flop changes its input from 0 to 1 so first flip-flop that is a0 which is the output of the first flip-flop is changes from it changes from 0 to 1 okay but <clears throat> a1 a2 and a3 outputs of the subsequent flip-flops they are not affected because this particular clock is given only to the first flip-flop okay then <clears throat> this particular a0 which is 1 so it will remain 1 because the flip-flop has changed the state so unless uh, next negative h comes the flip-flop will remain in that particular state that is 1 then <clears throat> the clock signal remains low for some time again it goes high so there is a positive h but positive h does not uh, toggle the flip-flop because it is negative h triggered then at the next negative h uh, the falling h again the first flip-flop toggles its output or that particular flip-flop toggles toggles means it changes its state so current state at this particular time of the first flip-flop is 1 and it becomes 0 that is it becomes low so uh, this particular flip-flop toggles a0 toggles and as uh, it has been uh, already specified the output of the first flip-flop is given as the clock input to the second flip-flop so what happens is that the second flip-flop it gets a negative age okay so this a0 signal acts as the clock input to the second flip-flop so here you can see that the output of the second flip-flop is falling it is uh, going to 0 from 1 so this is the negative age so this is the negative age uh, that is received by the second flip-flop so second flip-flop toggles okay so it has been shown that the, the, there will be a delay so immediately after immediately after the negative age the second flip-flop will not toggle there will be some time delay or propagation delay so that is why this much delay has been shown here okay uh, here also the delay should have been shown uh, always there will be some propagation delay immediately after receiving the negative age the flip-flops uh, won't toggle so here uh, that particular delay has been uh, shown so uh, at the negative age of the uh, signal a0 the a1 the second flip-flop toggles and bec it becomes 1 okay then uh, uh, that is not going to now uh, the second flip-flop has toggled but uh, the third and fourth flip-flops they do not get any negative age at its clock input so they will remain in their state and that particular state is the uh, uh, zero state okay so like that uh, this will continue uh, then the next event will occur at the negative age of the next clock so at that time uh, the a0 input uh, or the the first flip-flop will toggle and a0 output uh, will be one at that particular time okay uh, and like that at every negative age a0 is going to toggle okay so this is the first negative age a0 toggles from 0 to 1 at the next negative age a0 toggles from 1 to 0 uh, then the third uh, negative age of the clock a0 toggles from 0 to 1 fourth negative age of the clock a0 toggles from 1 to 0 then the next that is the fifth uh, negative age and a0 toggles from 0 to 1 uh, this is the next negative age where a0 toggles from 1 to 0 okay so like that it it goes on 
then uh, a0 is uh, the uh, clock input for the second flip flop so wherever whenever a0 uh, goes low from high for example this is for the first time a0 is going low so that time what happens the next flip flop that is uh, whose output is a1 so that toggles so here it toggles then here is the second time the first flip flop is going output going low from high so that time again the second flip flop toggles this is the third time that uh, the output of the first flip flop is going low from high uh, so which gives the negative edge uh, for the second flip flop and uh, the second flip flop toggles for the third time uh, at this particular instance okay so this is how we get the output at the second flip flop okay now the output of the second flip flop is given as the clock input to the third flip flop so the third flip flop won't get any negative edge until this particular time so at this particular time the output of the second flip flop goes low from high and at that particular instance the third flip flop will toggle from 0 to 1 okay now the next negative edge uh, is not shown in this particular diagram so the third flip flop it remains it remains high until the next negative edge is encountered by the third flip flop uh, the fourth flip flop so far in this particular diagram does not get any negative pulse uh, negative edge triggered and uh, it is remaining low for all the time during this particular uh, time period okay now if you look at the uh, the output of the flip flop in the beginning the output of the flip flop from if you write from Z, uh, lsb to msb it is 0 0 uh, 0 0 then afterwards uh, at this particular instance of time when the first uh, negative edge come then the output of the uh, of output of the counter as a whole uh, will be 0, 0, 0, 0001 okay so uh, this is uh, msb and this is uh, lsb so we count from uh, the msb to lsb so uh, a3 is 0 a2 is 0 a1 is 0 and a0 is 1 so 0, 0, 0, 001 so output of the flip flop uh, converted to decimal it will be 1 then at this instance of time the output of the flip-flop is 0 0 1 0 okay so a1 is 1 whereas the rest of the outputs they are 0 so at this instance of time the output of the flip-flop is 0 0 1 0 okay so it remains same until the next negative edge is encountered and at which time its output will be 0 0 1 1 so like that if we uh, see the output of the flip flop so the next change is uh, here which is 0 1 0 0 uh, after that the next change is here 0 1 0 1 uh, then 0 1 1 0 if you look at this particular pattern then uh, the output of the flip flop uh, is uh, Incrementing by 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 1 0 so it is acting as a counter <coughs> We can show uh, the state machine for this particular uh, uh, For that particular flip-flop, okay? Uh, and uh, <coughs> uh, we can convert uh, that particular flip flop into a bcd counter okay so that we shall uh, see in the next class